These AI tools make you so productive, you won't even believe that this was possible. And by the time you finish this video, I know you'll be as shocked as I was when I found out about them. And honestly, annoyed that I didn't find out about them earlier. In my last video, I gave you six different side hustles you can start using AI, and it was only right that I bought you the tools to help you use those AIs to take you to that next level. And I split these tools into four categories. Planning and time management, utility, task management, and communication and writing. And for each category, I've given you two AIs you can use there, so you've got a bit of room for choice. So let's kick it off with planning and time management. And the first tool I'm giving you is the one I've been most excited to share with you guys, and that's Rewind AI. Now this tool is going to take productivity, and honestly, just computing in general, to that next level. It can rewind so you can look at anything you've said, heard, or seen on your Mac, and you will never miss a thing. Now this is only available for Mac at the moment, but I think we can all agree this is a game changer. Have you ever been thinking back at something you saw a little while ago and you just can't quite pinpoint exactly where you saw it? You end up spending 15, 20 minutes, maybe even an hour trying to look back and find this thing, and you just can't pinpoint exactly where it is. I've been there, but using something like this is going to save me so much time. Or how about all the times you're in a meeting and someone said something and you've missed it and you want to ask them again, but you don't really want to disrupt the meeting. There's a lot of people there. You don't want to disturb everyone. Using this now, you'll never miss that. You can literally rewind back on your meeting, pinpoint exactly what you missed and carry on with your day. And it's secure too. The recordings themselves are saved directly onto your Mac and not onto the cloud or any dodgy websites. And you can also pick and choose what apps you want it to track and not track. So just in case you're hiding something dodgy on one of your browsers, you don't have to track that at all. It doesn't have to save the history. It only tracks what you allow it to. I think when it comes to time management and productivity as a whole, this is absolutely amazing. Imagine never being able to miss a beat. It's, it's just incredible, to be honest. And next up, we have a Reclaim AI. This is an AI-powered calendar and meeting tool that automatically adjusts your schedule to make it perfect. One of the cool features that it has is that if you have a business calendar and a personal calendar, it merges those into one and automatically adjusts all your meetings, personally and business-wise, and uh, rejigs them all for efficiency. It also uses AI to reschedule all your meetings for maximum efficiency. So if you have a bunch of one-to-one -one meetings all spread out throughout the week, it bunches those up into blocks and leaves you with actual space and time for you to get some work done. On top of that, you get stats on how productive your week has been. So if it thinks that the meetings that you put this week aren't very productive in the way that you're gonna work, it will try and adjust that, use that data from this week to adjust that for next week. Thousands of people hire assistants to do this kind of thing all the time. But I think if you're a manager, a leader, or an employer of some sort, this could really be for you. On to section two, we're talking utility. And the first one is Tome. Now Tome is an AI powered story writer and presentation tool. Now this is an incredibly powerful tool. You give it a simple prompt about a presentation, what you'd like there, and it will generate the the whole presentation, the structure, images, and copy all done for you. If you're unhappy with something, you want to adjust it, just tell the AI. Or maybe you feel like a page should be added or deleted, you simply just tell the AI again. You can even give it prompts to change design features like titles or background, and you don't even need to look for the backgrounds to put on it. I really feel like this is a great tool and the aesthetics on this one are pinpoint. Companies like Apple have built a brand on how smooth their interfaces are, and with this product, I have that same feel. I've seen a few of these presentation AI platforms, but this one really has a good look and feel to it. The presentations look good and it flows so well. I think if you're someone who does presentations often, if you're a leader or you're someone who does outreach, that kind of thing, I think this tool will be perfect for you. And the second utility AI is called consensus.app. This is an AI powered search engine built to find results based on evidence. It has over 200 million scientific articles for you to filter through to find evidence based answers. So for example, if you search for the benefits of mindfulness, it gives you a bunch of articles based on evidence, shows you if they've been cited a lot, and gives you a percentage rating according to size score. This can help you decide how valid or trusted the document is, or at least how popular it is. I know a lot of viewers who are going to see this might still be in school or college, and this is a perfect tool for you. Or even if you look into anything business or personal related, whether that's health, finance, or even the benefits of AI, it's all on consensus. Onto our third category, that's communication, and we'll kick it off with Poise. It's an AI powered tool to help you with verbal communication. So basically, you download the tool, install it, and it runs along your meeting application giving you notes and pointers as the meeting goes on. It gives you real-time feedback on stuff like tone, energy and whether you're interrupting others. It also tells you if you're using too many filler words like um or uh and tells you to try and do that less. You also get a score and a report at the end of each meeting so you can see what you're doing well or not so well, what you need to improve on. And then it tracks your progress as you go on so you know that you're improving on these areas and maybe you need to work on others. I'm personally very impressed by this and I think even the most confident of us could use a bit of pointers in the way we communicate. If you're someone that's naturally shy or introverted, this could be a great way for you to learn, you know, those communication skills that you never really uh, got to use when you were young. I think these days, communication is a skill that goes under the radar. People feel like they can hybrid emails, instant messaging, and they don't feel like they need to develop that skill of, of talking to people clearly and communicating well. But I think if you're serious about 
growing a career, starting a business, or you know, just generally building relationships, this is something that's gonna be very key. So whether you're using it for presentations at school, work, or college, maybe you wanna come across well in that interview, or maybe you just go have an online date with somebody and you wanna come across confident and, and well-spoken, this is a great tool to use, and why not try it out? It's free anyway. The second communication tool I have is called Superhuman AI. And well, it's meant to make your email experience superhuman. It's designed to help on that written communication side with emails and everything that happens in the app happens on under 100 milliseconds, which makes it the fastest email experience that you can get. It uses AI for a bunch of things like grouping emails so you know that these come from VIPs, your manager, other colleagues, or just spam. It can suggest replies to incoming emails and you can set up schedules so you know to reach back to someone who you've sent an email to already just in case they haven't got back to you within a day or two or a week. They put a bunch of shortcuts into the platform so you can use keyboard shortcuts to quickly write an email or reply to someone. And you can have pre-written email snippets saved into the platform that will reply to someone and add their name in there for you. Honestly, I didn't know email could be improved this much. I was happy with what it's like already and this has really opened my eyes to the possibilities of being more efficient on that email side of things. It's really gonna help with replying, sorting, and just organizing your emails. Okay, and then section number four is task management, and we'll kick it off with catalog. This is a knowledge management platform dynamically made using AI. So they're basically saying they don't want a one size fits all solution. If you run different companies, you deserve a different platform. So you type in what your company does or what businesses you run, and it dynamically creates a workspace that's tailored more towards that kind of business. So for example, if you're a marketing company, it might make sections for you for clients, proposals, and pipelines. Whereas if you're a content creator, it might make sections for videos, images, and articles. So this uses AI to put a tailor-made solution that's perfect for your business. And honestly, I think it's a very unique and cool idea. I know a lot of people that spend a lot of time making the space that they write in or, or manage tasks in look good and feel good and make sure it's relevant to what they do. This essentially lets AI do that all for you. I think this is a tool that can literally be used by anyone, whether you're 15 or 50. I think this tool works for every single person. So why not try it? Okay, last but not least, this is probably one of the most popular, if not the most popular tools out of all these you heard today, and that's Notion. Let's be honest, Notion is just a great product to manage tools, knowledge, that kind of thing. It's simple, can be tailored to anybody, and a lot of people use it for a reason. It's already one of the most popular platforms for productivity, but I think adding AI to this has taken that one step further. So Notion AI will be able to create a blog post from a simple prompt, or even help you brainstorm ideas. It can help you generate social media posts, meeting agendas, and emails too. And I think the introduction of AI to streamline a platform that's already really good is just a perfect combination. I personally already use Notion to manage my goals for this channel and other businesses. And I think the AI introduction for this, it just makes it even, even better. So that's it. Eight productivity tools that hopefully make you so efficient, you get a couple extra hours in the day to do whatever else you want. I hope you managed to learn something new today. And if you did, I only have one ask for you and that's to hit subscribe. I've got a big goal to hit 100,000 subscribers this year and I can't do it without your help. A like and comment would be nice too and I'll be pumping out a bunch more content around AI's business and self-improvement. I've already made a bunch more videos around businesses and side hustles. You can start with AI. So if you haven't checked them out, make sure you do. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day or night. See you in the next one. Stay safe, my friends. Oh.